Ani Rohatni. Welcome to the Quantity Survey course. In this lecture, we will discuss the bar bending schedule of the column footing, BBS of column footing. This is the lecture number 12. So, before calculating the steel, read carefully given footing drawing and note all the important points like footing, length, width, thickness, diameter of footing, reinforcement rate of reinforcement is going to use space of the reinforcement hooks length concrete covers of the footing top and bottom and side cover let's solve this example to understand well here we have an example suppose we have a column footing having a length 2 meter Having a length, this is the plan view of the column and this is the section view of column. Here, its section A is cut. This is the section of the column. So, we have length 2 meter. Here you can see in plan view. And width we have 2 meter. And having a thickness of 0 0.250 0 meter. Here you can see in the section. This is the thickness and depth of the column footing the main bar is 12 millimeter this is the column footing plan view and section view of the column footing and the main bar is 12 millimeter at spacing 150 center to center 150 millimeter here you will see these are the main bars which you can see in the dot line dot point these are the main bar and the, this is the distribution bar because here you can see the section is cut, cut here and these are in plan view these are the main bars and these vertical y on the y axis are the distribution bars on the horizontal x axis main bar so main bar is 12 millimeter having the spacing between center to center 150 millimeter and distribution body is also 12 millimeter center to center spacing is 150 millimeter the footing clear cover is 50 millimeter from the top the footing clear cover from the top is 50 millimeter and 75 millimeter from the bottom from the bottom it's 75 millimeter from the top you can see in the section from the top it's 50 millimeter and from the side it's 50 millimeter calculate the number of steel is going to use in column footing so we have to calculate the number of steels required for column footing given data we have length of footing 2 meter width of the footing is 2 meter length this is the width and this is the depth 0 point thickness 0 0.250 0 meter you can see here and main bar 12 millimeter spacing center to center 150 millimeter distribution bar is also same clear cover 50 millimeter from the top and sides 75 millimeter from the bottom from the bottom we have 50 millimeter here you can see these are the spacer provided solution let's solve the example for the first step is to calculate the number of bars which are going to use in footing in second step we will calculate the cutting length of the bars and at last we calculate the weight of the reinforcement bars so this is the section view of the column footing you can see here from the top we have 50 millimeter and from the bottom we have 75 millimeter clear cover from the side we have 50 millimeter cover this is from and depth we have 0 0.25 mm meter so footing for main bars here you can see the point the dotted points left dotted points are the main bars and this is one showing it one but here its section view so these, these are the distribution bars and these points are showing these are the main bars so let's we calculate the for the main bars 
num to calculate the number of main bars we have the formula total distance minus clear cover divided by center to center spacing plus 1 so this is the formula we know that total distance me we have for the main bar 2 meter here we can see it in the plan we have for main bar calculation these are main bar on the x axis we have to consider this spacing 2 meter we have 2 meter total distance we have 2 meter subtraction clear cover we have clear cover from both sides 0 0.05 meter we have 50 millimeter we divided it by 1000 to convert into millimeter let me show you on the calculator we have clear cover 50 millimeter from both sides divided by 1000 so we have 0 0.05 meter clear cover from both sides we added the clear cover from both sides then divide it by spacing we have center to center spacing 150 millimeter to convert into meter we will divide it by 1000 you can see on the calculator we have 0 0.15 center to center spacing in meter plus one addition so let's we calculate the number of bars mean bars number of mean bars required for footing so first we have to minus then bracket close we have 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 then bracket close okay so it gives us 0 1.9 then divide it by the spacing we have 0 0.15 spacing multiply add 1 by formula we have 13.66 number of bars this means 14 we have four, we will take 14 number of main bar for column footing so let's go further so next we will calculate the cutting length of one main one main bar in footing. So for cal calculating the cutting length of one main bar, we have the formula total length minus total length of the slab minus along the total length of the main bars minus two half of the diameter plus clear cover. The half of the diameter we of the bar which are we using which is 12 millimeter plus two thickness of the slab minus bottom and top cover and half diameter of the bar so this is the formula to calculate the cutting length of one main bar so let's we put the values in the formula total length we know that two meter we have the total length with total length for main bar is two meter but because column footing is 2 meter by 2 meter so total length 2 meter minus 2 half of the diameter of the bar so we have diameter of bar 12 millimeter first convert it into meter it will give 0 0.012 then divide it by 2 then it give this will be the half of the diameter 0 0.006 plus clear cover now we know that clear cover is 50 millimeter convert it into meter divided by 1000 it will give 0 0.05 meter plus 2 thickness of the slab here we can see thickness of the slab is 0 0.250 meter and bottom cover we know is 75 millimeter convert it to it into meter by dividing 1000 this will give us 0 0.075 meter minus bottom and top cover bottom cover is sorry bottom cover we already did and top cover we have 0 0.05 meter 50 millimeter we converted it into meter 
minus half diameter of bar we half diameter of bar let me show you how did we calculate the half diameter of bar you see we are having a 12 millimeter diameter of bar divided by 1000 to convert it into meter so we have 0 0.012 meter diameter of bar then divide it by 2 because we want to make it half so half we have 0 0.006 meters that is how we calculated the half diameter of bar then next two meter subtract two this will give the sum up of 0 0.112 plus this after calculation this will give 0 0.119 so let we calculate it on the calculator so we will see 2 minus 0 0.224 plus 0 0.283 so it will give us 0 point, uh, 2 point 0 0.059 point 0 0.059 meter is the length of one main bar so we actually have total number of bars 14 so to calculate the total length of the main bars we will use this formula length of one bar multiply with the number of total bars which we have calculated this is we are calculating a main bar here this is the length of one main bar then multiply it with the 14 it will give us 28.826 meter so total length we required is 28.826 meter next let we calculate the weight of this bar we will use the formula which we already have discussed in our previous lecture in detail t square divided by 162.2 multiply the length this you can use as a 162 but this is mainly 162.2 so then multiply a so we will, let's we use this formula on the calculator here we will put the dia in millimeter so dia is we having 12 skew 12 into 12 this will give us 144 divided by 162 then multiply it with length we have total length 28.826 meter of the main bars 8.826 meter of main bar so we require 25.62 kg we required number of main bars weight is 25.62 kg here it is by mistake so because it's calculated by 1 162.2 so this is the you can use it too next footing distribution bar so number of distribution bar calculation is the we are having the same formula total distance minus clear cover divided by center to center spacing add one so two meter is the total distance because we are having the footing two by two meter minus clear cover we have 0 0.05 from and 0 0.05 from the other side we are here adding the cover clear cover from both sides so divide it by 0 0.15 that which is 0 0.15 meter which is the center to center spacing at one which will this will give us total number of the bar 14 bar and cutting length we have the same formula we use we already did in main bar so you can calculate it by your own because there is same formula and dimensions are also same so you can calculate it easily this will give you the length of the one distribution bar 
2.059 meter and then you can multiply with the length of the one bar to the total number of bar in distribution case we again have the same number of bar 14 number of bar because the our dimension of column footing bar was the same as we know that the dimension was 2 by 2 meter so that will also be same then we will calculate here the weight of the distribution bar by using the same formula this will give us 25.32 kg by this formula once by using 162.2 but if you use 162 this will give 25.62 kg so both are the correct one so you can use any one 162 or 162.2 conclusion for this numerical this this is how we calculate the bar bending schedule of column footing so we footing main bars we required 12 millimeter a spacing from center to center millimeter 150 center to center spacing and we require 14 number of bar and the weight we require 25.32 kg and footing for the distribution bar so we required 12 millimeter bars with the 150 millimeter center to center spacing and the same we require 14 number of bars and the weight required for distribution bar for footing or column footing 25.32 kg so here we our dimensions were the same 2 by 2 meters so that's why our footing main bar and footing distribution bar are the weight and the numbers are the same so this was the formula to calculate to how bar bending schedule of column footing so please solve your own example by changing the values thanks for watching this lecture please stay tuned for next